welcome to Market Ball. I'm Sarah Powell and joining me today is Mark Sale, CEO from First Class Metals. Mark, it's great to speak to you again. Last time we caught up, you were heading to PDAP. How did that go? That was frenetic. It really was very, very busy. I didn't get to see as much on the investor floor or trade show as I'd hoped because there was such a lot going on behind the scenes, shall we say. And of course, uh, finalising the uh, deal with Nuinsco over ZigZag took quite a bit of my evening time, but kept me away from the hospitality suites. With yet more positive news, can you summarise the recent announcement with regard to ZigZag and tell us why do you think this presents such a potential exciting opportunity? Certainly, Sarah. I'll, I'll start at the second half of the question first. It's exciting because it well and truly places first class in the critical metals um, sphere, shall we say. We now have a, a standalone critical mineral lithium um, project to, to advance. Yes, we have on West Pickle Lake nickel and copper with Palladium One, and that's going really well too. But now we have our own ring-fenced lithium prospect. The deal, the terms of the deal really are, are threefold. There's annual payments to Nuinsco, which aren't onerous. This is all detailed in the release, obviously. And there's also in-ground commitment over four years, for which we earn 80%. But I think, interestingly, two aspects. One is their willingness to, to load the in-ground commitment so value adding not only for us, but for them as well. <clears throat> but also, I think the fact that they took shares as part of the payment, not all cash, re really does highlight their um, their confidence in first class's ability to, to progress not only the ZigZag project, but also uh, other projects as well. I mean, uh, they're desperately, to, well, desperately sounds disrespectful, they're, they're enthusiastically progressing their Prairie Lake project at the moment, huge rare earth potential. So they really need all the cash they can get for that. So the fact that they took shares in us, I think, as I say, is, is a real plus, And we should take uh, a lot of credit, uh, sorry, a lot of kudos for that. But yes, um, we're now a, a critical metals explorer in the full sense of the word. Thank you, Mark. Can you now expand on what the terms of this deal are and comment on the relationship you've established with Nuinsco? Yes, the, the, the deal's over four years and by the end of four years, cumulatively, we will have invested uh, about a million Canadian, for which we get 80%. Then it's the standard uh, joint venture 80-20 uh, with a dilution formula and should Nuinsco choose not to contribute, they get diluted down to 10% and then automatically to an NSR, which we have the right to buy part of. So it's a pretty standard agreement throughout the industry uh, and favourable uh, on mutually beneficial terms. And finally, with so much going on across the portfolio at First Class, can you tell us, is there anything that we can be looking out for next? Well, I always like doing deals, Sarah, but uh, so watch this space. But um, as I've commented to uh, First Class Management and Board, realistically, there's three criteria that I would look at to acquire more property. One is contiguous to existing property with some sort of vector onto that new area. Secondly, a no-brainer, as was um, Sunbeam acquisition. And thirdly, uh, a boutique mineral metal element, which is fulfilled by the lithium. So uh, we're starting to get, I think, to um, to a critical level of having enough projects now. Um, the only other area we could expand into would be uranium. And I don't think we're ready for that because that would defocus us out of Ontario, whereas we want to stay focused in Ontario. So we've got a lot of our, on our plate, but we've got a lot of prospectivity and I think uh, a lot of potential going forward. Mark Sale, thank you again for the update and we'll look forward to speaking again soon.